Okay, folks, I have talked, uh, we've talked before about taking your art where people are that will enjoy it. And I am in a local grocery out in the beautiful countryside, and I want to tell you the story of the painting of this barn. So hold on, and I'm going to go where the barn is, and I'm going to tell you the story of how this painting came to be. Talk to you in a minute. Bye. So, as I was saying, every painting has a story. So I want you to walk down this road with me for a minute, and I'm going to tell you the story of Mr. Moon's barn. And so uh, I had not lived in this area very long, and a dear friend from my growing up era in another town, city, was coming for a painting weekend. So of course, before she um, came, I had scoped out beautiful farms and all these places that I thought she would like to um, choose from to paint, all these beautiful scenes and trees, and I just thought I'd done a great job. Well, if you're new to a place, you don't really know who lives where or so forth. So uh, she arrives in town and we take our suitcases out of the car and the weather is fixing to change the next day and be cold and, and, and really kind of yucky. But anyway, it was like the last pretty day of, of summer, spring. Uh, well, no, it would have been um, moving into fall. <laughs> so she gets into town and I say, oh, come, let's hop in the car and let me show you these um, areas that I've looked at that I think you might enjoy painting. So we get in the car and we ride about a mile one way and um, she doesn't like anything I've picked out. It's like, oh, oh, this is terrible because um, I don't really know anybody and so I don't want to walk on somebody's private property. So be, being a wonderful gal, as she is and full of spirit she uh, says let's go this way and she, then she tells me to turn down this private road and I said oh my gosh I, I I don't know anybody down there and so I stop at one of the houses and I knock on the door nobody comes and I see in the distance uh, some uh, buildings uh, farm type buildings and there's an American flag flying over all of them so I kind of thought well can't be all bad if they have an American flag. So then I see, and she sees, um, these men standing around, and it's Friday afternoon about 5 o'clock, and um, <laughs> they're having kind of a gathering, and we get out of the car, and uh, they're very friendly and say, would you like a beer? And uh, she declined, and I said yes, and so we were standing there for a minute and we were talking about the fact that we want to paint a scene the next day, uh, painting in plain air. And, and she looks up this direction and this is what she saw. And there were several horses that day also. And so again, the men are sitting around having a, a nice, pleasant Friday afternoon at the end of a busy farming week and and one of them looks over at this older gentleman that was on a four-wheeler and he says Mr. Moon these ladies want to paint your barn and with that if you could have seen the look on Mr. Moon's face as he looked up at his barn and tried to picture these two ladies that did not look like they were uh capable of painting a barn uh, so uh, we took pictures and and did both of us paint picture paint paintings of mr. moon's barn and uh, that is what you have just seen in the grocery store just this uh, moment or two before before you took this walk with me down the country road so it was a painting I really loved doing, but I'm not sure whether I love the painting more or the story of, of these hospitable people who, um, we all had a moment of, of humor from that. So I hope you like the story of my painting of Mr. Moon's barn. Take care. Bye now.